Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> yes, uh, I think I'm doing great. Por primera vez, soy la primera. <laughs> Yay, Linda, you did it, you did it. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we appreciate that. Thank uh, you. Yes, I know that you do a lot of effort to, to be in this class. Okay, yes. yeah, I see Juan Carlos over there. Do you see Juan Carlos? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Juan, Juan Carlos. Here is Linda and she's the first one. Claps for Linda, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Juan Carlos. What are you, uh, how are you doing? Hey, very nice. Good. That's the attitude. Yes, that's the attitude. Okay. I I see that mm, no. Okay, it's 8:02. It's 8 and, and 2 minutes. Just let's uh talk about the last topic. Uh, meanwhile, your classmates are connecting, okay? And let's see, because yesterday we were talking about may and might. Do you remember that? Yes, thank you. Okay. And uh, what do you think about that topic? ¿Cómo les parece ese, el, eh, ese tema? A ver. Estamos entendidos en este tema, chicos. Okay, I sent this summary on the WhatsApp. I sent this summary for you just to understand the um, uses of may and might. Do you remember that? Did you see it on the WhatsApp chat? Lo vieron. Por ahí se los mandé para que le dieran una leída. Este es el resumen de toda la clase de ayer. <clears throat> okay. Because may and might are two words that we use to express possibility, probability, it's similar to possibility, and permission, permission. But permission in these days is for the word may, okay? Might is not so used to, um, to express permission. Uh, sometimes it could be used like an authorization, but it is not just a permission. Uh, it's not like a common permission, right? More than uh, an authorization. Let's read the, the sentences. I know that you read them already, but I just want you to read them with me, okay? Veamos la primera. Ok, veamos la primera, porque um, para que veamos cómo se usan, ok. It looks like we might made a mistake. Por ejemplo, alguien va a comprar algo, ¿verdad? Y mire, fíjese que cuando me lo embolsaron, mmm, yo cuando llegué a la casa vi que, que no era la talla correcta, ¿verdad? Entonces usted regresa o el cliente regresa y le dice a la dependiente de la, de la tienda, mire, aquí se equivocaron, ¿verdad? Entonces viene la dependiente y le dice, it looks like we, made a, we might made a mistake. No tomamos la responsabilidad completa, ¿verdad? Por, pero sí le damos la razón al cliente, ¿verdad? Le damos la razón al cliente. Esta es una buena forma de una posibilidad, ¿ok? Expresando una posibilidad, ¿sí? ¿Me siguen ahí con eso? It looks like we might made a mistake. Okay. Do you want to read it, please, Juan Carlos? Excuse me. Uh, would you like to read it? Okay. It looks like we we might mal um, mistake. A mistake. It a looks, mistake. Okay, I'm going it to read looks, it first. Mm -hmm. Like we might. Like we might. Made. Made. A mistake. A mistake. 
Si se hello, fijan teacher. aquí, my, hello, how are you doing? Aquí Present usted es, okay, no problem, Edwin, I haven't uh, took the, uh, I haven't taken the attendance yet. Look, uh, solo estamos haciendo como una lectura de la que les envié en el WhatsApp, ok? En el WhatsApp les pasé este como un resumen de toda la clase. La leyeron, Edwin. Sí, teacher. Yeah, sure. <laughs> ok, ahorita solo estamos haciendo un pequeño repaso, ¿verdad? Todos lo leyeron, yo sé que todos lo han leído. Vamos a ver. <laughs> It says, this might be the most difficult decision she should ever make. Ok, this might be the most difficult decision she should ever make. ¿Qué idea les da? Les da una idea de posibilidad, de probabilidad, de permiso. ¿Qué idea les da? Posibilidad. Ok, una possibility. También una probabilidad, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque probablemente ella tuvo más decisiones que hacer en otro momento y probablemente fueron muy difíciles. Pero esta decisión que tiene que tomar es la más difícil probablemente. Okay, then we say this might be the most difficult decision she should ever make. Maybe moving from, from one country to another country, right? Or maybe leaving his children with uh, the grandparents. We don't know. It's a probability and maybe that's the most difficult. Maybe. So it might be the most difficult decision she should ever make. She would ever make. I'm sorry. She would ever make. Ok, Va. ahí vayamos notando que tenemos might y puede ir con verbos eh, en presente, en el infinitivo, ¿verdad? O en la forma base, porque no lleva to. ¿Se fijan acá? No lleva to, solo lleva así solito el infinitivo. Ahora veamos acá, made. Es como en el pasado, ¿verdad? Eso sucedió en el pasado. Sí, probablemente cometimos en ese momento un error, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's continue. They suggest, uh, I'm sorry, we, we are in this one. You might be asking, then what? Okay. You might be asking, then what? For example, when you go to the breakout rooms and you didn't understand what the activity is, then you may be, you might be asking, now what? Okay, so you might be asking, then what? Right? Uh, okay, all right. Okay, so probability, right? They suggest other products a customer might be interested in. They suggest other products a customer might be interested in. Acordémonos que vimos también que el cliente estaba insatisfecho, ¿verdad? He was dissatisfied because the product he obtained, it was um, of a low quality, right? One second. And you know who's that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. One second, please. Um, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, we were reading. They suggested, uh, okay, this customer is not satisfied with the product. So you, as a customer uh, service representative, then you suggest other products a customer might be interested in, okay? Because this product mm, was not good, so you offer another product, okay? To make an exchange. Now, the next one. Her method might not succeed so completely in the hands of anyone else. Her method might not succeed so completely in the hands of anyone else. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Linda tiene un, una forma de enseñar perfecta, right? But maybe 
maybe if I copy her method, maybe I cannot have a success, okay? Using her method, maybe, so here it says, her method might not succeed so completely in my hands, right? In the hands of anyone else, okay? It's a good method, but only for her, right? It might be. Next one, it might make the difference. It might make the difference. For example, if you, if you go to buy a product, okay? And you say, okay, I want this and this cell phone, right? And the seller offers you another one, right? And tells you, oh, look at the difference in this one. And you see that this one has more benefits, right? And then what do you think it could make the difference, right? Ah, maybe the price, right? Podríamos cambiar este it. The price might make the difference, okay? The, the price might make the difference. En que compre o que no compre, o en que me lleve un producto, en que me lleven el, el otro, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo usamos might en este caso? Si se fijan, el verbo no cambia, ¿ok? No le agregamos aquí una S. Miran acá. Lo usamos en la forma normal, aunque es it, ¿verdad? En todo caso, o sea, pensaríamos it might makes, right? Pero no. Aquí es it might make the difference, ¿ok? Para ninguna de las personas, para ningún sujeto cambia. Siempre se usa might y el infinitivo base o la verbo base, que es el que es de la primera eh, columna en la lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Ok, let's read the next one. You may follow me. You may follow me. For example, if you are mm, eh, como un edecán, ¿verdad? And then you receive the people in the door, in the front door or in the front desk and you said, ok, follow me. I'm going to show you where the meeting is, right? So you may follow me. It means that you are inviting these people, like giving an authorization or a permission to follow you, right? Next one, it says, it may take a few minutes. For example, you go to buy Don Pollo, right? <laughs> And they say, we don't have pechugas at this moment. It may take a few minutes to get your order ready, okay? It may take a few minutes to get your order ready. Correcto. Si vamos entendiendo y vemos la situación de probabilidad, de permiso y de posibilidad. ¿Sí? No, teacher. No, ¿en no qué entiendo. sentido? No, a ver, no. dígame cuál no. No, no, no sé, no es como... Sí. Eh, por ejemplo, you may follow me es como más, como más suave de decirle sígueme. O oh, yes. Puede seguir. Mm -hmm. It's like a formality, right? Es como una formalidad eh, y además es como una forma respetuosa de decirlo, ¿ok? A ver, Giovanni Pineda, go ahead, please, tell me. Eh, sí, teacher, eh, bueno, yo tengo la duda que yo, May, lo, lo entiendo como, eh, como que fuera Ken y May como que fuera Cool, lo los siento casi igual. No, no... Good, thank you very much for your, your observation. Yes, it's similar. It's similar, even though they have different meanings per se. Uh, but yes, you you can understand and uh, feel. I mean, I mean, have that feeling when you say these words. Yes, yes, you're right. Correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Even though, even though may todavía es un poquito más respetuoso que decir can, ¿verdad? Podemos decir can, ¿ya? Yeah, y podemos decir eh, may. Pero, por ejemplo, si yo le digo a Carlos Alberto, right? Uh, 
Uh, you may follow me, que teníamos ahí, ¿verdad? O you may have a seat. Uh, pero como es mi, mi, mi compañero, mi allegado, mi colega, right? Es cercano, yo le puedo decir you can, ¿ok? You can. Pero si Carlos fuera mi jefe, por ejemplo, entonces es mejor usar may, ¿ok? Si Carlos es mi cliente, por ejemplo, no tengo una relación cercana de um, amistad más que de negocio, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le digo may. Uso may. Yes, you may. Um, for example, let's, let's say, I may suggest these products for you, okay? Because you are my customer. I may suggest or let me um, uh, show you these products. You may choose, okay? You may choose between this and this. You may have a discount if you buy two or three, right, products. You may. But if, for example, is someone else, uh, a colleague or some, someone near me, I can say, yes, you can. You can have, you can get, you can uh, do this, do that. Es muy um, opción suya, ¿verdad? Pero sí, puede usarlo como can y como could, okay? Hoy sí, más o menos, Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Uh, uh -huh. O sea que es, significan lo mismo, pero eh, como más polite. Exactly. They are more oh. polite. They are mm -hmm. more okay. formal. They are more formal. formal. Yeah. Okay. They are thank more you. formal. You can use can and could in a restaurant with your friends and you can use may and might in your company, in your job, okay? Yeah. Correct. Uh, can and could is also very useful for uh, conversations and on the phone, okay? Okay, guys, we were reading this summary and we are here. May I have a seat? Permission, right? May I have a seat? Ya no se utiliza o está en desuso decir might I have a seat. Si ustedes lo escuchan, eh, probablemente sea British, ok? Probablemente porque tampoco ellos lo usan así en estos días ya, ok? Se usa más may para permission. May I have a seat? May I take this book? May I have this pen? May, not, may I have... Um, mm, your phone number, okay, yeah. Mm, may I use your cell phone, okay? May I use your computer, right? Asking for permission, asking for permission. And the answer for those permissions are, yes, you may. Oh, no, you may not, I'm sorry, but I'm going to use it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have, I'm sorry, but th this is not available, okay? Got it? negative and positive. And for example, at the end of the class, I could say you may go home, okay? Even though you are in your houses, right? So you may go home, yeah? For example, in your job, maybe um, uh, the system went down, okay? The system, the computer system went down. So the, it is not possible to fix it, Maybe until the next day, you will, uh, they will have this uh, fixed. Then they can, your boss maybe is saying, okay, guys, you may go home. It's not possible to work like this, right? You may go home. They are giving the permission to leave, right? To leave and go to your house. You may go home, permission, correct? For example, you may ask, Uh, boss, I had this problem with my daughter, for example. I have to take her to the doctor. So may I leave early today, right? May I leave early today? Even though I can use, can I leave, okay? As Giovanni was comparing, I could say, can I leave? But for more formal language, may I leave, right? May I leave? Uh, earlier today. Okay. You got it now? 
Okay, guys, this was just the review. And I uh, decided to do this because of Linda and Karina weren't in the class. So we decided to do that because we were just three of us at the beginning. So I'm going to take the attendance now, okay? For the first time. One second. Correcto, chicos. Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. May I take the attendance now? Yes, teacher, you may. Okay, you got it? There we go. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel is having health problems. Okay, health problems. Edwin Eliseo, you said present. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos eh, Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Ok, Carla Verónica Suria López. Uh, Present teacher. Hey, the power is back. Ok, Present good. You. Good. Um, Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Suleima, no, Suleima yet. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Yes, Wendy, there you are. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. Vamos entonces a nuestro tema de hoy. Ok, lo que estábamos hablando era nada más haciendo un recordatorio de lo que habíamos visto el día de ayer. Y ayer decíamos acerca de May and Might. Ok, así que demos todavía la última repasadita para terminar las oraciones que tenemos en la actividad 5, ahí en la página 24 de nuestro manual, page 24, please. Ok. Let me share it there. Okay. We have to make or create these sentences. Let's remember the examples they gave us. They gave us this. I may ask for a refund. Okay. Probabilidad, verdad? Una posibilidad. Usted podría hacerlo, ¿ok? You may buy at a different store, ¿ok? They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations. Ok, esto se deriva, estas oraciones que las están viendo acá se deriva que, por ejemplo, alguien ha tenido una experiencia de insatisfacción, ¿verdad? El producto no está muy, muy... Bueno, ¿verdad? It's a low quality product. And his, uh, you may express the things that you may do if 
you were not satisfied with the product, okay? So let's continue with that. And let's think. For example, imagine that you order a pizza, okay? You are ordering for a pizza. Imagine. Uh, what ingredients do you want or what kind of pizza do you like we to um, order? Let's think about a good uh, pizza. How do you want your pizza? We are on the phone. Mm -hmm. Would you like a ham pizza, ham and cheese? Is it okay? Or a pepperoni pizza? Or which Thank one you. do you want? Five cheeses. Five? Yes. Wow, oh my God, that's a specialty, right? Specialty, yes? Okay, let's think we are calling to Pizza Hut, okay? Is it okay? And when the guy, uh, I mean the delivery guy comes, uh, he gives you the pizza and then they give you a Hawaiiana one. What will you think? Will you be satisfied? No. No, right? What can we do in that case? What might you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? Is it okay to ask for a refund? Or do you want to exchange and wait for the correct order? O lo cambiarían para esperar la siguiente orden. Correcta. Pero que nos dejen la hawaiana también, ¿verdad? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think? Pizza free. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, but let's think about let's think about uh, the solution here. What do you think it will be the solution? The first thing is that you will call the customer service, right? You will call immediately. I received this. Hey, please don't leave. Hey, delivery guy, stay here, right? Because we have to fix this thing. Yeah because this was not my order. It's not what I was expecting for, right? Okay, then I may ask for a refund or I call customer service and I say, hey, look, this is not what I order, right? This is not what I order. Como decimos todo eso en una forma polite y como nos respondería esa persona qué es lo que vamos a hacer o la forma en que se va a solucionar esta cosa. Entonces tenemos esto, ¿ok? Tenemos esto. It may not reach your expectations, for example. Uh, she might want, or you might want a refund on the pizza, ¿ok? Um, so these are when we are unsatisfied or dissatisfied. So, for example, I call Pizza Hut. Okay, good evening. Look, I have the delivery guy outside and he was delivering this pizza, but this order is not the correct one. Okay, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, or we apologize for the inconvenience, right? That's the customer service agent. And she says, for example, mm. so I, I can ask, what should I do, right? What should I do in this case? Or what are you going to do? And then she says, okay, um, you may ask for a refund or you may ask for a, an exchange. What would you like, okay? What would you like? It's up to you. We can compensate for that, right? With the free order, right? And they say, you may ask for a refund or you may ask for an exchange change for another product, okay? Or just wait and be compensated, okay? According to the policies, according to the policies. Entonces, se fijan ahí, ella me está dando la opción, okay? De que, de que yo pida un reintegro o que pida un cambio, si quiero cambiar o esperar, 
right? Correcto. Ok. En ese caso, ¿cuál habría sido el problema? What is the problem over there? Wrong or incorrect order. Ok. ¿Correcto? Yes, teacher. Ok. En esos casos usamos este vocabulario. Ok. Bien. Veamos entonces si creemos estas oraciones. Imaginémonos situaciones. Ok. He is the subject. Not be satisfied. Ok. Es la situación. Ok. Entonces, utilicemos may and my to express this. Not be satisfied. Ok. And let's start. He. Might or may? What do you think? Might, might or may? Might. Not okay. Might. Okay. Might not be satisfied. Okay. Agreguemos un complemento. With the pizza. With the pizza. Okay. Oops. The correct order. The problem is my letter Z and I didn't plug in the the other keyboard. I'm sorry guys. Do you remember that I have a problem with the letter C? Steel guys. Steel. Can you imagine that? Okay. Here we go. Pete. One second. Let me select. There we are. Thank you guys for your patience. Okay, with the pizza. Great. Next one. The warranty and the verb is be. Okay, be. Mm -hmm. The warranty is the subject. The mm -hmm. warranty might. Uh-huh. Longer. longer. Longer, okay. Longer. Y es que la garantía debiera ser más larga, o sea, debiera extenderse más, ¿verdad? So that's, yeah, the warranty might be longer. There we are. Do we need a complement here? No, right. It's understandable. Okay, next one. Number three. The service uh -huh. might not be excellent. Might or may? My, may. Might. Might. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. If we are talking in a possibility, ahora en estos días es en muchos casos es indiferente si uno usa may or might. Okay. Um, en este suena muy bien might. Okay. No sonaría mal may. Okay. Let's see number four. You and recommend. You may recommend. Uh huh. You may recommend. Recommend. Uh huh. Do we need a compliment here? You may recommend to a to a friend to to, to your friends. Sí, yeah. Okay. Okay. Podríamos ponerle aquí the product para que. Okay. You may recommend the product to your friends. Okay. Because you need to recommend something, right? Okay. Let's see number five. Number five. 
the waiter and be in a hurry. Might or may. What is hurry? Hurry. Prisa. Wait. The Saben guinda porque está en una gran carrera. <laughs> the waiter may be in a hurry. Ajá. Imagínense que se equivocó y les puso a ustedes el té y era para ustedes el café y ustedes lo excusan, ¿verdad? O sea, lo disculpan, ¿verdad? The, the waiter must be in a hurry. Okay. In this case, may or might? Maybe. May. May yeah. or might. Might. might? might. Might, right? Might be in a hurry. Okay. Number six. Number six, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Amanda and not use. Amanda may not use. Oh, it moved again. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Amanda might might not use what? Microsoft. Microsoft. What Is did you say? I'm sorry. Uh huh. Amanda? May not use it, the computer. Yes. May or might? Might not use. May. Might. Okay, díganme, díganme, la, díganme la oración completa para ver si va may or might. Amanda may not use it, the computer. Oh, okay. She, is, she has no permission to use it, okay? Amanda, yes, may, right? Amanda may not use the computer. Good. There you are. Yes, it is may. If you are talking about a permission. Okay. There we go. Go right, guys. What do you think? Was it easier now when we were creating these things? Yes. Okay, but now let's think about, for example, you are the customer service agent, okay? Let's imagine you are the customer service agent. And just let me erase these things and I'm going to move. Okay. So let me... Go to the slides now. Let's imagine that you are the customer service agent and you are in the position that you receive this customer. Maybe it's uh, a, an angry customer, okay, uh, dissatisfied, or maybe he received any, or he has a problem, or maybe the product is not in good conditions, right? So let's see, what would you do? What would you do if you receive a person in that situation? I'm going to see here. This is our question for to, tonight, okay? What would you do for the customer if the product you offer is not in good conditions? Let me share this. Okay, this is the question for tonight. What would you do for the customer 
if a product you offer is not in good conditions. Maybe you are not exactly the seller, but you represent the seller. How in the customer service um, department, okay? So let's think, what would you do for the customer in a, if a product you offer is not in good conditions? Let's think what problems can these customer express to you? ¿Cuáles probables eh, problemas podría tener un cliente con los productos? Por aquí les voy a mostrar una listita y ustedes me van diciendo, ¿ok? Se me movió esto. Todo se me Okay, here we have some problems that a customer may report in customer service, okay? So let's see. Incorrect product or size ordered. As a pizza, right? Maybe you ask for the giant one from or 12, 12 portions and then you get uh, eight portions pizza, right? Incorrect product or size ordered. Product no longer needed. Llegaron después de la hora, ¿verdad? Product no longer needed. Ya no se necesita el producto, ya es por gusto, okay? So you have to you can offer to return this product, right? Number three, it says product does not match description on website or in catalog. Have you ever had any problem uh, doing a purchase with any product? ¿Alguien ha tenido alguna mala experiencia? Have you had a bad experience with a product that you ordered? Maybe online, or maybe you went to a place and you received a different thing that you needed? A and ver. When buy in AliExpress. In Ali? The AliExpress. Uh -huh. the, um, the, the photo uh, no match on the description. <laughs> oh, okay. The product does not match uh, description on website as in when you received it. Yes. Okay. And how long did it take uh, for you to receive that product that you ordered in Ali? How long? Cuánto One, tiempo? How long? Uh, two months. Two months. Okay. Were you aware that you were that you had to wait for two months? Estabas advertido de que estaba advertido de que iba a llegar tan en tan largo tiempo. Yes, it's a probably time. For okay. Seven. Okay, it's an average time. Okay, okay. So let's read number four, guys. Another problem. Miremos este otro pro, pro, problema. Veamos el problema aquí, número cuatro. Uh -huh. It's for the quality of the shirts. A t-shirt. Es como una calidad de producto que no, no, para el cliente no. Ajá, ajá. No cuide sus expectativas. Ok, for example, for example, you think that this product is going to last uh, because it is a Gantt, right? It says, ah, it's a branded uh, product, right? It's original. And then when you, re when you received it, ah, no, it's, it's not what I think it was going to be, okay? 
it's less, it's a low quality product. Maybe I was expecting for a, a product in, with excellent quality, right? And then I received something, um, por ejemplo, pasa mucho como, <laughs> no quería decirlo, pero sí como lo chinito, ¿verdad? Parece bien bonito, pero cuando usted ya lo recibe, bueno, y esto en dos días se me va a ir, right? Or things like that. Did not make, meet, I'm sorry, customers' expectations. No era lo que el cliente esperaba recibir, okay? Next one. Number five. The company shipped ranked product or size is similar to number one, right? Okay. Customer unfamiliar with retail interface. Okay. Interface or interface. Okay. Por ejemplo, está usted comprando en línea, ¿verdad? Y de repente, pues, no sabe si le dio el... el no sabe si se fue la orden o no se fue. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo que usted hace en ese momento? Call customer service, right? Could you please check if my order get through? ¿Ok? Por favor, cheque si mi orden entró porque no está muy familiar, no está muy amigable esta, esta eh, aplicación que estoy usando para comprar, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Next one, the customer is unfamiliar with the product, okay? They were looking for something and the seller recommended a product, but you are un unfamiliar and you don't know how to use it when you received it, okay? Then what do you do? I call customer service and I read the instructions too, right? And uh, you ask for assistance. Usted busca que le ayuden, ¿verdad? Hey, ¿cómo funciona esto? ¿verdad? Entonces usted llama a, a Customer Service. A ver, veamos. The product that you purchased, it was during a holiday season. It was a high season. Maybe... Okay, because of the amount of products that they delivered, okay, they are delaying the product. Okay, no les llega a tiempo porque está muy alta la temporada, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué hace usted? Ve, no, me, no llega, entonces voy a llamar a customer service. ¿Qué le va a ofrecer al cliente? What solution would you offer? Okay, veamos la siguiente. Nine, word robbing. Word Robbing, word robbing. Este es bien interesante porque este es un problema que usted debe detectar como customer service. Porque es de la gente que llega, se mide el producto, bueno, me queda, digamos, ok. O lo compra porque lo va a utilizar en una, en un evento, ¿verdad? Y al día siguiente, pum, lo quiere regresar. Ok, y si lo está haciendo constantemente, es detectable. Si no lo está haciendo constantemente, pues no es detectable, pero eso es, es un delito. Se llama word robbing. Ok, word robbing. Aquí lo tenemos y este es uno de los problemas. Pero en ese caso, for example, the person is going to ask for a refund, right? Or an exchange is unprobable. Unprobable, okay. It's not probable that they are going to accept an exchange. Usually you are going to have the history or the register from that person, the file, okay. And you are going to detect too much refunds, right? Uh, to their credit cards. Something strange is happening here and they uh, put a notice in the system, ¿verdad? Le ponen un sistema a las compañías, una nota en el sistema, en las compañías, hey, ya no lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Eso es word robbing. Es un problema con el que se tiene que lidiar cuando se compra en línea o cuando, bueno, para los de agentes de servicio al cliente, ¿ok? Y luego, you have to detect a fraud, a delivery, 
uh, deliberate fraud. Okay, deliberate fraud. Un fraude deliberado también. Okay. Um, compró algo, okay, y luego lleva otro producto X y lo quiere meter, right? <laughs> Things like that. That's what I can imagine at this moment. Maybe you can give me some other ideas, right, about deliberate fraud. For example, about the credit cards, okay? The method of payment that you're using is not from this person and they are, um, he, um, what is this, the name for this crime? Uh, como robar la personalidad, ¿verdad? También, usted lo puede detectar ahí. Si alguien le habla y le dice, mire, han usado mi tarjeta, ¿ok? Para comprar esto. <laughs> what solution would you offer? What solution you, would you offer? Ok. These are some problems for people buying or doing purchases. Ok. So let's think about solutions. Let's think about solutions. Ok. Now I'm going to start again presenting because the topic for today is how to use would, okay? To offer a solution, we use these model verb, okay? Because you have to use a very polite language to offer a solution or to offer anything, okay? To offer a different option, to offering another um, process of doing the things, okay? An option, right? You give, you give information, uh, making someone um, do something, okay, in the correct way. So you offer solutions using would, pero también would se puede usar en ciertas frases. Y tenemos una frase, bueno, ya conocimos una en el módulo pasado que era would you mind, ¿se acuerdan? Would you mind? Sin, era para expresar o para pedirle a alguien que haga algo, ¿verdad? Eh, muy amablemente, pero normalmente eso es entre, bueno, se usa en diferente situación. Ahora, ofreciendo, utilizamos solo would y ya lo vamos a ver cómo, ¿ok? Entonces, el objetivo, the goal for tonight, is that you are going to be able to offer solutions, okay? You are going to be able to offer solutions to a client that has had a problem with a product from, their, from your company by writing them or by offering them some solutions. You are going to think in pairs three or more solutions for this person dissatisfied or that has a problem with a product, okay? And we are going to use the grammar correctly. What is the grammar we are going to use? Is would, okay? Would. Now, let me please show you here. Uh, our agenda for tonight, it was that, um, we were going to do this feedback, May and my the summary that I showed you. And we are going to use would in the context of uh, problems or giving solutions. And then I'm going, now I'm going to give you a briefing about would like, would like to, okay? And you are going to do some reading activities and then you are going to have a conversation, okay? So let's continue with this and I will, show you the first question I made. What would you offer um, for the customer if a product you offer is not in good conditions? Okay. Ahora pensemos y contestemos qué podemos hacer utilizando would. Veamos entonces. Ok. Yo le puedo ofrecer. Ok. For example, I could just would like to. Ok. How? 
would you like to ask for a refund? Okay. Or le puedo decir, would you like to exchange Change this product, product, okay, for a different one, right? For a different one in the same price, or maybe you can give the difference, right? But you can uh, talk to the, the customer for he to say that. So, would you like to? Esta frase tiene que ir así unida, okay? Would y tiene que estar like to para que signifique un deseo, como decir quiere, quisiera, pero de una manera muy polite. Es, okay. es también como decir gustaría. Yes. En vez de que nosotros digamos, uh, do you want, que es muy directo, ok, do you want to ask for a refund es muy directo, es muy plain. Entonces usamos, would you like? Correct? Are we okay with this? Ahora veamos entonces cómo se usa would you like or uh, would like to. Okay? Vamos a verlo primero. Perdón, en unas eh, Oraciones acá. Okay. Here we have very polite requesting and offering. Okay. Very polite requesting and offering. You may request and you may offer with this phrase. Okay. Let's see grammatically how do we use this. For example, the first question we have here. Can you read it, please, Nancy? The first question. What was do you like to do? Okay. Next one, please, Edwin. Would you like to ask for a phone or an exchange? Okay, great. Now let's see. Uh, Carla, please read the next one. I'd like to return this computer. It has the screen broken. Thank you very much. Next one, please. Um, Kevin. I'd like to exchange this teachers they are in the wrong color okay let's see carlos eduardo please the last one i'd like to ask for a refund this air conditioner is faulty okay so now let's see there is a problem here okay there is a problem do you see the problem in this one it says it has the screen broken Okay, the computer arrived and they open the package and the computer is broken in the screen, right? So let's see the next problem. They are in the wrong color. These t-shirts, right, are in the wrong color. Now let's see what is going on with the air conditioner. What happened? Uh-huh. What is the problem? Is faulty. Faulty significa defectuoso, okay? Faulty, defectuoso. Defectuoso puede ser que venía defectuoso, okay? En este caso, faulty. <clears throat> que ya de fábrica entró así con ese problema, okay? Is faulty. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, I like to ask for her the phone is is the money. Sorry. Yes, your money back. Yes. Thank you. Okay. A refund is when you want your money back. Mm -hmm. An exchange is when you want to make a change. You give this product, you return this product, and they give you a different one. You choose another one, okay? Un intercambio, right? Exchange. Mm -hmm. But for example, for example, let's think. This air conditioner is faulty. Let's think about what solutions can we offer, okay? What solutions can we offer with this? If they are asking for a refund, usually in the United States, they are going to give it to you. But here in El Salvador, they are trying not to do a refund. So they are trying to find a solution and they have like a repairing office, yeah? Technicians, right? And they say, oh, we are going to send you a um, technician for a day to check what the problem is and maybe they can repair it, okay? And we are going to pay for it, okay? As the company, as the seller, okay? So that's kind of the warranty policy, okay? Warranty, it depends on the warranty of these products. You get it? Any question about this? Questions? Bien, entonces veamos la forma en que está acá. Si ustedes se fijan, esta es una contracción, ¿verdad? Esta contracción es I would. Entonces ponemos el apóstrofe y una letra D. Bien, veamos cómo se pronuncia would. 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 Como sin L. Wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. Wood. Ahora, ¿cómo pronunciamos la contracción? La contracción la pronunciamos I'd. 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 Want to hear you guys. I'd. 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 Yes. I'd. Mm -hmm. I'd. I'd. Ahora unamos I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. Ahora un poquito más fluido. I'd like to. 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 Ahora imagínense que esta persona no quiere, ¿ok? No quisiera eso. ¿Cómo lo dice en una manera negativa? I wouldn't like to. Correct. ¿Ok? I wouldn't, add, uh -huh. I wouldn't like to. I Correct. wouldn't. I wouldn't like to. Correct. Y usualmente... Mira, esa es la contracción, wouldn't. Ahora, eso es would not like to, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿cómo lo hacemos? Le vamos a poner I para el, el sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero la contracción es wouldn't. No le ponemos I'd not, ¿ok? Dependiendo del énfasis que querramos hacer, pero lo común es I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to. Uh -huh. Tenemos que cerrar esa U del principio como wu. Wu. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. Yes. I wouldn't. I would. Exactly. Would. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't like to. There we are. Okay. So, 
This is making the thing really polite because in customer service, we must be polite because the customer is always right. Okay, the customer is always right. And maybe I'm going to lose this customer if I don't do, or I don't offer a solution for these. Um, and it, it is going to cost more. Okay, it's going to cost more. Maybe he's not going to recommend. And you know, it's a chain of events after not attending or not assisting uh, customer in the correct way, in uh, the best way we can. So this is the language we use in customer service, okay? When we offer a solution and when we request, request for something, okay? So let's try to make some other sentences here. Okay, let's see. For example, uh, we're going to use your names, okay? Carlos Alberto. Uh -huh. He bought maybe the, the headphones, okay? Or the headset. Carlos Alberto bought the head, headsets, but he's not pleased with these headsets. They don't work, okay? Let's invent a problem, okay? Do you want to give me a problem that you had with your headphones? Please, Carlos Alberto. Okay. Do you okay, want to or... give me a problem? Mm -hmm. um, this headphone is faulty. Okay, great. So what, what would you like to do? Would you like to ask for a refund or an exchange? Exchange. Okay, then Carlos Alberto mm -hmm. would like to exchange, okay, the headset, then a comma, they're faulty, okay? Is it okay? A ver, vamos a ver. Let's imagine that Silvio bought a pair of glasses, okay? You bought a pair of glasses and you had a problem with them, okay? You had a problem. So let's say Silvio bought these glasses. Silvio, can you tell us about your problem? A pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are broken, okay, or something like that. Yo creo que no me ha oído Silvio, ¿verdad? Teacher. Oh, yeah, I saw the chat now. Uh, ayer lo oh, okay, yes, me... you're right, Sylvia, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I was, uh, yes, I, I had my man on, on, on it at the beginning, but now I forget, I'm sorry. Okay, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Juan Carlos, now. Maybe you bought a pair of glasses. Uh, okay. Good to know. Well, Good line. Uh huh. Uh, to uh, to ask for a response. Okay. Why? What is the problem? What seems to be the problem? Uh, it's the screen broken. Screen, uh, let's say the glasses are broken. Okay. Let's say, would like to ask for a refund. 
the glasses are broken. Ok. Ok. También podríamos decir otra palabra y les vamos a enseñar esta palabra ahorita. Scratch. Ok. Scratch. Scratch como un rayón, como un raspón, ¿verdad? Entonces podríamos decir scratched. They are scratched. Ok. Están rayados. Normalmente eso, eso pasa con los lentes, ¿verdad? They are scratched or they are broken. Ok. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Now, Nancy. Nancy bought a pair of shoes. Ok. Online. Nancy bought a pair of shoes online. And they delivered the shoes yesterday. Ok. Or tonight. Tonight. She received the shoes. But there is a problem with the shoes. Ok. Sí. Dígame qué problema tuvo, niña Nancy. <laughs> uh, Nancy uh, mm -hmm. will like uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to uh, to uh, no to exchange exchange uh -huh. their their shoes. Uh -huh. Their shoes. Uh -huh. And what seems to be the problem with the shoes? Uh, they are faulty. Defectuoso. Okay. okay. They are faulty. Mm -hmm. Good. They are faulty. Okay. There we go. So I'm now we got it, and now we know how to express the problems, right? Here we are expressing the problems, and they have a kind of solution because the customer said that they want to do something. Ahora, cuando el cliente llega, normalmente él pide una cosa, pero tiene que cumplir ciertos requisitos, ¿verdad? Para que eso se pueda hacer. Esas reglas están en la lista de las políticas, ¿sí? De la compañía. Those are policies. A veces aplica, a veces no aplica. Correct. And you are, as a customer representative, has to direct the customer uh, through the process And then is when you use uh, the, your ability to find solutions, okay? Find solutions. Now, let's see. For example, here, they have a solution that they decided. They decided. But what if, for example, for example, I said, okay, I'm going to continue with Carlos Alberto in the first thing here. And I say, Carlos Alberto would like to exchange the headset. They are faulty. Then I ask you, do you have your receipt? Tiene la factura? Okay. Do you have your receipt? Your receipt? And then you say, no, I don't have it. Well, I can't do anything if you don't show me that. But there is another option, okay? There is another option. Maybe if you say, yes, if you say, yes, I do, okay, let's continue, okay? Because that's the policy, right? But in this case, for example, you say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't, okay? I'm sorry, I don't. Ahora tenemos otra ventaja. Okay, porque podemos, eh, si usted pagó con su tarjeta de crédito, usted en el teléfono puede encontrar su estado y ahí dice que se lo pagó a tal compañía y tiene un comprobante. ¿sí? Ah, incluso si fue un pago electrónico, lo puede comprobar con el teléfono ahora, ¿verdad? Antes solo con la muy factura o con el muy ticket, ¿verdad? Podríamos hacerlo, pero ahora ya lo podemos hacer electrónicamente. Entonces, for example, I say, uh, 
Carlos said, I'm sorry, I don't have my receipt with me now. Okay, then I could ask, would you mind, porque ya lo aprendimos, okay, showing me the bank transaction record, podríamos decir que así sea, okay, transaction record, yeah, um, to prove, okay, to prove, or to prove it. Uh, is this a purchase proof? Okay. As a purchase proof. Okay. And then he says, okay, just wait for me a little. I'm going to find it out. Okay. And then you look it up and you show me. Okay. You show me. Then I say, could you please uh, send a screenshot? Okay, then now the processes are completely different than before. Okay, so maybe that's the policy now, right? So then, sure, here it is. Okay, me contestaría Carlos, correcto? Sure, here it is. Entonces yo le pido, could you? Podríamos preguntarle, sí, could you send the screenshot to, y ya le digo ahí el, um, the number, right? Maybe what's up? Uh, 706, uh, in parentheses, right? 25706. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Y se completa el asunto. Me lo manda y ya sabemos. Okay. Have a nice day. Goodbye, sir. Thank you very much. That's it. Right. But for example, I exchange the product. Okay, could you send a screenshot to? Entonces, ahora sí, yo ya le puedo cambiar el producto. Okay, which one do you want? Go and choose it, right? And I see the price and I, and I um, start the process of billing, right? So, this is the way to. Entonces, utilizamos una frase acá con would. A ver. Podríamos decirlo con would, okay? Would you uh, choose, si yo le digo que elija otros, okay? Would you choose the new model, okay? Would you choose the new model? Correct? Got it? Vamos bien hasta aquí, chicos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Would you choose a new model? Oh, yes, I, thank you very much. Please show me this and do you have in this color? Do you have in this other, etc. Et it starts over, right? Ahí empieza nuevamente escoger un producto, okay? O hacer una compra, correcto? Bien, hasta aquí. ¿Hay alguna pregunta de cómo usar wood y cómo usar eh, lo, lo demás? ¿Cómo decir un problema? ¿Cómo ofrecer una solución? Ok, vamos a cambiar a esta otra slide. Y por ejemplo, alguien, este es un ejemplo. Bueno, lo voy a borrar, aunque no lo quería borrar. Este es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Ah, este es el mismo aquí. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué pasó? Ok. For example. Would you take this up to the marketing department on the 12th floor? Okay. Would you take these up to the marketing department on the 12th floor? Todos estos files quiere que lleve, mire. 
<ríe> al doceavo piso. Le está pidiendo el favor, ¿verdad? De que lleve estos files al marketing department. Está en el doceavo piso, ¿ok? Si usted acepta, la respuesta es no problem, ¿ok? O otra frase, ¿ok? Uh, no necesariamente yes, I would. ¿Ok? No necesariamente yes, I would. Uh, pero aceptando sería no problem, sure, ok, uh, right away. ¿Ok? But if you refuse, if you refuse, the answer is an excuse. Es poner una excusa para no hacer lo que le está diciendo. Si sí pone excusa. Si no, pues explica la situación por lo que no lo va a hacer. ¿Ok? Y la frase característica que debemos aprender. I'd love to. I'd love to. But. Ok. Uh, me encantaría, pero fíjate que. ¿Verdad? Ok. I'd love to, but I have a meeting right now. So I cannot go to the 12th floor to take these files. Ok. Are we okay with this? Is the same? Excuse me? Did you say a question? Who was that? I think it was Giovanni. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Carlos. Okay, at the moment, we have the vocabulary now. We have the problems, we have the solutions, and we have how to offer and how to request politely. So after the list, we are going to work creating conversations, okay, with a dissatisfied client and giving solutions to the problems, okay? There we go. I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to, to take the attempt. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Presente. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Presente. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Presente. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. I am here. Okay, there you are. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Presente. Ok. Uh, Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barribera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Suleyma, are you there? I remember you were there. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, people. So now we are going to go to the breakout rooms to have, to try to create a conversation. Uh, one of you is going to be, uh, or role play like a customer that but a product, you have to choose a product and you have to see if it is faulty, it has maybe you received something in the wrong color, the wrong size, or maybe you want uh, you wanted a different product and they sent 
an incorrect one, um, things like that. Okay. Ahora bien, antes de irnos a la al, a los salones, vamos a ver. Do you know what is a refund policy? Do you know what is a refund policy? What is a refund policy? ¿Qué es la política de reintegro? Refund. Ajá. Uh -huh. From the totality uh, calls for growth. Okay. Well, in the in in this refund policy, okay, we could consider also the um, rules that the company list, okay, according to their product, according to their um, money flow, right? Um, they decide what is the process in this rule they decide what is the process for you to exchange or request for your money back okay for example they could uh they could um say the the period period of time available to for you to claim okay to file a claim a claim is un reclamo Ok, a claim es un reclamo. Entonces, probablemente en esas ahí ya está listado en esas reglas cuánto es el tiempo en que después de que usted lo compró, qué es lo que tiene que presentar, eh, cuántas, eh, eh, en qué productos aplica, en qué productos no aplica el refund, ¿verdad? Y cómo son las condiciones en que debe estar el producto para un refund. Ok, ahora. ¿Cuál sería una warranty policy? Warranty policy. Ani. What is a warranty policy? Teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Me reincurba. laughs> yeah. What Me is a warranty policy? Mm, no, that's nice. the question, teacher. A warranty policy. A uh, warranty policy is mm, longer, longer, two, two years. Okay, the period of time, right? Mm -hmm. That this product may function well or may not function. Okay, and the warranty policy, también tenemos reglas. ¿Verdad? Ahí también establecen las reglas cuando aplica la garantía y cuando no aplica. Sí, y además es una promesa, ¿verdad? Es una promesa que el vendedor le está haciendo a usted de que le va a, ya sea, dar el dinero de regreso o se lo puede cambiar por otro producto o se lo puede reparar, ¿verdad? Entonces, the words in English are repairing, replacement or refund. Okay, you may return this product to obtain the replacement, the repairing, or the refund for this product. But the warranty means that they are going to pay for the repair or for the reparation, right? Repairing. So, or the replacement, they are going to absorb all the costs to give you another product maybe in the same um, conditions, models, or whatever, or maybe you can offer a difference in money to get a different product, a better one maybe, or maybe a bigger one, maybe um, um, uh, a high qu higher quality product, okay? Are we okay with this? Are we okay with this? Entonces, ahorita que vamos a ir a los breakout rooms a crear una conversación, así como la que acabamos de hacer más o menos con el producto que Carlos quería retornar y que quería su refund, así de esa misma manera, 
van a hacer ustedes una conversacioncita acerca de un producto que ustedes compraron y que tiene algún defecto, ¿ok? O que ustedes recibieron en una situación mal. ¿Estamos entendidos? ¿Cuál es el... el eh, ¿Cuál es el vocabulario que vamos a utilizar? Would, can, like. could, may, might, would like to. ¿Ok? Bien. Let's go to the rooms. There we go. Es, es así como es, well, would you like to would you like to change would you like to change uh, let's see the table uh -huh. pero falta el you will you like no it says I I like to Uh, sí. Vaya, pero primero you. tendría How can I help you? Eh, thank you for calling the technology support. How can I help you? No. no, welcome to the Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? 
How is your conversation going? What is your product? Um, a computer. <laughs> okay, and who is the customer? Yeah, I am the seller. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. Kevin is the customer. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. And what is the problem? Um, is bueno ahorita lo toca él. Estamos viendo. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Pero, um, Está pensando el producto, el modelo. Oh, okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo puedo decir t-shirt? Busco, busco una, una computadora con modelo. Uh, quiero ver, voy a hacer una, una del. I'm looking for, I'm mm. looking for a computer uh, from this and this and that model. Okay. Okay. I'm looking uh -huh. for. I'm looking for. Uh -huh. okay. I'm looking for. Pero ahorita tratemos de hacerla como que ya la compró Kevin. Y que imagínense que le llegó defectuosa. Tuvo algún problema con ella. O le mandaron de un modelo y usted quería del otro. Okay. Ah, okay. No, ah, ok. Nosotros lo estamos planteando así como que preguntando qué le vamos a comprar y... El... Acerca de la garantía. Pero Ajá, si... y... Ah, ok. Ok. No, no. It's ok. I'm sorry. Ok. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, I'm looking for, looking for mm -hmm. I'm looking for a computer, okay? Mm -hmm. Or I'm looking for the model y diga el modelo que quieren. You say the model that you want. Which one do you want? What model? You said Dell. Dell. Okay. Energy Star. You 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 can uh podríamos decir make it up, okay? Invente. Quiero ver aquí voy a ver este. Uh -huh. Mode computer de model de for example, Kevin, the model JX123, right? Some <laughs> things like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. JX123. Okay. <laughs> okay, entonces yo le puedo decir. Okay. A ver, ¿cómo le puedo responder? Hmm. Yes, I have it. Oh. Mm. I can offer you. Ah, aquí hay uno. Del, del Experium. 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 Eh, que del Experium. Y no sabramos el motor del número que tiene. <laughs> Experium. Yes. Quiero ver. We have it. Then you may ask Carlos Roberto, for example, um, would you like to um, to buy a uh, warranty certificate, right? Ah, de una, es cierto. Yeah. Pero, pero puedo pensar como, sí, tenemos disponible. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. yes, we have available. Yeah. Ah, pero, uh, well. mm -hmm. okay. Y ya luego digo, uh, acerca uh -huh. de... Ajá, ajá. Yes. Uh, Available, yes, we have. Um, but you may see this other one that we have. We don't have the experience, right? Or maybe we we have it, but we have another that is better, right? You uh, can okay. offer that. You can say you may, you may see this other one, right? digamos plantearlo como la garantía como una ventaja. Oh yes, uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. so we have the uh -huh. computer, but. Is not experienced model. Okay. So, yeah, yes, I have. Yes, we have. Well, come on. Okay. Uh, La yes, compañía. We have. yes, we have available. Dell computer. But, uh, but we don't have experienced model. Okay, guys, continue working. I'm going to another room, okay? 
Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Uh, no, ajá, porque decía que le gustaría devolver el celular. Hello, how are you doing? Return, Hello, return the product. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, sería. You may. Uh -huh. You may. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, you may you may to exchange to uh -huh. exchange or refund or refund. Uh, or but refund. if you want to to it's return broke. a product, then you have to tell them. Do you have the receipt with you? And what's the reason? Why do you want to re, uh, to ask for a refund? What is the problem? Okay. What is the problem? Or uh, no, you said no refund. You said another. You said. They want to return the product, right? Return. So the, the, the problem is uh, the the cell phone does not to run. Does not run. The, doesn't run. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. No enciende. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you may say, uh, what, what would you like to do? What would you like to do? Así como lo teníamos en el ejemplo. What would you like to do? Would you like an exchange or would you like to uh, uh, to ask for a refund? Okay, okay. okay. Sería good, good, to, good to lie. Yes, would you like? Mm -hmm. You are offering to do something, would right? Would you like to, to do? Would you like to do? Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Okay. I like to exchange. Le gustaría devolverlo, Carlos. <laughs> Juan. Okay. <clears throat> o quiere que se lo reembolsen. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. I, I like to, to return. So you want your money back? Juan Carlos? Uh, what, what would you like? Your money back? Or would you like another cell phone? An, another cell phone. That's an exchange. Okay. Exchange. That's, That's an exchange. An exchange. Mm hmm. So you have to say, Juan Carlos, I'd like to exchange the cell phone. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, I'd like to exchange. To I'd like to exchange to another cell phone. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, entonces, eh, para llevarlo así poco a poco sería en lo primero, eh, cuando me contesta, uh -huh. plantearle que tengo un, un, o si me puede ayudar. Mm, she is going to answer. She has to say, for example, good, thank you for calling so-and-so market. And then she said, how can I help you, right? And then she, you explain what is the problem. Look, I bought the cell phone and it doesn't run. So she asked, what do you like to do? What would you like to do? And then she's, you said, well, I would like to exchange this cell phone. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yes. Okay. Then she's going to ask, ask you for the requirements. What are the requirements? The receipt, for example. Do you have the receipt? Right. 
You, can you send me a screenshot of the receipt, receipt or a picture of the receipt, right? Got it? Los requisitos para que, que así se aplique, ¿verdad? Entonces le pide la factura. Yeah? Receipt es factura. Okay. You have to receive. No, do you have your receipt? Do you, do you have to receipt? Yes, the receipt. I yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Y entonces Carla le puede preguntar, ¿verdad? Would you send this receipt via email? Right? Que si se le envía vía email o, o si o están presentes, ¿cómo lo van a hacer? ¿Como que compró online eh, o como que lo compró en la tienda? Como que la, lo compró en la tienda, en la, pero ahorita estamos en una telefónica. llamada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Mhm. Uh -huh. Okay, then you can just give him the information. Sure, no problem. Come to the office and then uh, to the customer service office and present your receipt and they are going to uh, receive. Email. Yeah, receive this thing. Uh, if you want through email, if not, you just take it personally. Okay, usted va personalmente, right? La cosa es que le tiene que dar la información completa, Carlita. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> pues sí, porque no va a llegar por porque gusto. Se presente, que se presente a la agencia para el respectivo cambio. Exactly. And you have to take the receipt with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And she can file the claim, right? And she can give you a number of uh, el comprobante, right? Got it. I'm going to another room. Do you have any other questions? You, 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 can, you can come to the ag agency for the time, this time. Yes, you can, uh, she can ask that. Could you uh, come to the store? Uh, please go to the customer service office and they are going to issue. Issue es la palabra para decir que ellos van a hacer el proceso, ¿verdad? Issue the exchange. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, vaya, veamos lo de yo me tengo que ir a otra sala, pero veamos así desde el inicio cómo va. Vaya. Okay, inicio. Thanks so much for calling Carla is speaking. How can I help you? Eh, hello Carla. Eh, eh, I like to report problem my my cell phone. Uh, okay. Um, in this case, you have to say, I have a problem, okay, with my cell phone and I'd like, right? Something, something, something. I, oh, I'd like to report a problem you said, right? Ah, sí, ese lo aprendimos en el módulo anterior y está muy bien, okay. Perfecto, úsalo, úselo, perdón. Okay. I, I like to report. Of course, what is the problem? The problem is that the cell phone does not turn on. What would you like to do? Would you like a, would you like to ask for a reason? De una sola vez, porque no le puede decir, what would you like to do? Y se queda, y él se va a quedar, este, pues yo quiero que encienda. <laughs> ¿Verdad? What, what would you like to do, a refund or a chain? I like to a chain, another cell phone. Do you have to receive? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, would you 
Would you? Uh -huh. Come to Would... the store. Would you come to the store? Come to a store personal. Uh huh. Personally, and customer service is going to issue your exchange. You are doing a good yes, job, no guys. Problem. I'm going to another yes, no room, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to another room. <laughs> continue, okay. continue. Okay, guys. Thank you. Y before this, rayado, scrunching, scrunching. Scrunch. And scrunch it. Hello. Sí. How are you Teacher. doing? <laughs> oh, I'm more or Hello, less. Annie. Understand. <laughs> yeah, I think you understand. The thing is Hello, that you have to practice. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. When you practice, you get it. When you practice, you get it. You are going to master it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> sí, me cuesta mucho hacer oraciones. Yeah, but remember, there is a way, uh, a simple way. Okay, remember the subject, then the verb, and then the complement. Remember, remember that, and it's going to be easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is your maybe his? Uh, you know where? Ah, there he is. There he is. Hello, Giovanni. Hola, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear Giovanni. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, teacher, uh, Tell me. How, um, how, how mm -hmm. do you say? Uh, está defectuoso. It's faulty. It's faulty. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's, Pero cuando queremos... Sería it is it, it, faulty. Faulty, uh -huh. ajá. Ah, pues sería, eh, vale, sería como decir. Uh -huh. Hello, good evening. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for calling Giovanni to speaking. How can I help you? No, good evening, you. Giovanni. I need to help me because Porsche is one product. Is it the faulty? Teacher? Yes, it's faulty. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then he has to offer you what you are going to do. Uh, he has to ask, what would you like to do? Would you like to ask for a uh -huh. refund or would you like to, um, I, I mean, to exchange uh -huh. this product? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Él me va a decir, pues, a mí, what would you like to do refunds or exchange? Uh -huh. exactly. ahí, ahí tendría que ser, ahí tendría que ser, no porque tengo que indagar primero cuál es el problema, porque... Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. y, yes. Y... Ah, pues entonces sería después. Ok, entonces you sería, may Él me va a preguntar, uh, what is the fault in the problem? Yes, yes. Uh, you could yeah. ask, for example, um, Giovanni, you could ask, what seems to be the problem with it? Ok. I what think... seems to be the problem? Porque iba a decir, what the fact does the product have? What's the fault? Mm, no, what I think fact? it's, uh huh. What the fact, the defecto, uh -huh. does the product have? What is the fault did the product? Me iba a preguntar él. Okay. Y, y yo le iba a contestar, the fault is the scratching. Mm. Mm -hmm. Porque estamos hablando, ay, no hemos. No hemos puesto el, el artículo, yo. Yeah. yeah. Estamos hablando de unos shoes. Ah, oh, ok. And they are scratched. Uh -huh. Are they scratched? Yo, like uh -huh. raspados. Sí, sí. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Pero no, no hemos mencionado los zapatos todavía, yo, man. <laughs> Solo el products, qué clase de producto es, tenías que preguntarme, Giovanni. Ok, what is the product, right? What is, what is the product? Pero, ah, ¿cómo lo dice? Pero, ¿cómo lo dice usando un lenguaje polite? 
Could you please tell me what did you buy? Okay, could you please tell me, tell me what the product is? Uh, mm. could, could you tell me why, could you tell me what the product is? This product, uh, this product is shoes. Okay, shoes, shoes. Mm, what the fault is? The uh, default is a scratch. The fault is as you mm -hmm. what the fault is. Ok, pero en este caso, ¿saben qué estoy pensando? Ese no sería un faulty Defect. product. Es un damaged product. Ok. Es un damaged product. Un producto dañado. Ya, yeah, porque uh... fuera defectuoso, por ejemplo, si no trae los oídos donde meter la, la, la cinta, por ejemplo. O no trae es el bote. Yo... Ahí es un... Yo pensaba decir algo así, pero no sabía cómo decirlo. Teacher. Ok, damaged. 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 Uh -huh. damaged. No, damaged. Yo, yo usando faulty, yo pensaba decir, eh, no me llega el, el cordoncito a la hebilla, no sé. Ah, yo okay. estaba pensando en una sandalia. Oh, ok, uh -huh, ok. Pero no hay cómo hacer. A damaged product is, for example, it's stained, está manchado. Or it's scratched, está rayado, okay? Things that happen maybe in the transportation, right? It's damaged, yeah? Damaged. Damage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. product, it is damaged. Yeah, the product is damaged. The product is damaged. Call, call, mm -hmm. call, 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 you tell me what is the product? What, what the pro? Huh? Could you please tell me what the product is? Could you, could you, could, could, could you please could tell you me? Please. Could you please tell me what, what is the product the, is? What the product is. Mm -hmm. Shoes, the Alistair. It's, it's shoes. Okay, shoes. We are talking about Shoe. shoes. What is the damage? What is the damage? What is the damage? What is the damage? The damage is a scratch. Yes, pero acuérdense que estamos usando Please. Um, polite. Ooh. Can ah. you, okay, can you, could you, may, might, Okay. Ah, okay. Entonces sería. And este, wood. Uh -huh. Would the would the mesh the products. Uh -huh. Giovanni me tendría que contestar así. Offer a solution. Offer a solution. If she is asking for a refund, you you may say, uh, Giovanni, that do you have your receipt? Okay. Do you have your receipt? Yes, the receipt. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es eso, teacher? ¿Qué receipt? La factura. La re es el recibo, ¿ha? la factura. El recibo. El comprobante. Uh -huh. yeah. El comprobante. Mm -hmm. Él me, lo tiene, me tiene que preguntar si lo tengo. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to another room, so please continue working, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Uh huh, guys. How was the activity? Was it fun? Okay, we are not going to. Well, we are not going to have the role plays now because I have to take the attendance. It's ten 
now. Okay. So we are going to stop here. The turn for the session one on one tonight is for Giovanni Pineda. Giovanni Pineda, it's your turn tonight, okay? Eh, ¿Se va a quedar para hacer preguntas? Giovanni? Eh, eh, no question, teacher. No questions tonight? Eh, so no, you don't tonight. want to stay? Yeah. ¿Alguien quisiera el turno de Giovanni? Just one, please. Hey, come on. Only one. Okay. <gasps> no one? Oh, yes. Thank God, because everybody understood everything. Yay! <laughs> there you are. No, I know that you are tired. I know that you don't have questions now, but when you are, um, do your homework, then you are going to have. But, miren, en la el discusión en, están todavía algunos puntos y solamente unos cuantos han entrado, así que in English, let's put it, I encourage you to participate in the discussions, please. They are three. Si ¿Sí saben cómo entrar a la discusión, ¿verdad? Si ¿Sí saben cómo entrar, se van a la pestaña, de, entran a la plataforma, se van a la pestaña de discusión y ponen all topics. En all topics o en todos los temas, entonces ahí le va a salir todas las actividades que hemos estado dejando. Hay una actividad que la vamos a realizar incluso mañana, a revisar aquí mañana, porque mañana nos toca el vocabulary practice, ¿ok? Así que, por favor, empiecen a hacerlo para que mañana esté listo. Mañana miércoles tiene que estar finalizado todo, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos que hacer el midterm test, porque ya es la unidad 2, ¿verdad? Entonces, mañana miércoles vamos a ir ya terminando la unidad 2 para comenzar el jueves la unidad 3. Así que, por favor, mañana todas las tareas hechas y el examen después de la clase. ¿Ok? Are we Teacher, okay? Tell me. Eh, ¿Hasta qué tarea es? Eh, vamos hasta la 10. Yeah. Mañana. Para mañana, mañana es la número 10. 10. Hoy es la 9. Uh -huh. Hoy es la 9. Exactamente. Okay. Cualquier pregunta, cualquier duda, por favor, en el WhatsApp la pueden hacer. Bien, voy a tomar la asistencia, chicos. Vamos a ver. I'm going to take the attendance. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Presente. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Ok. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. I am here, the teacher. There you are. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, there we are. Okay. Uh, everyone, thank you very much for your attention and for being patient. And let us meet tomorrow at eight. Okay, <clears throat> have a good night. Kisses and hugs. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. teacher. God bless, teacher. Uh, Amen. God bless you too. Venimos a tener cómo se llama reunión, teacher. Eh, no, Giovanni dijo que no tenía pregunta. Si usted ah, okay. quiere, puede quedarse usted. Ah, sí. No. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, mire, y la tarea de ahora, la que nos hacíamos un gran montón haciendo ahorita, que nos dejó olvidado. Ah, Mañana. no, I'm sorry. Yo iba un grupo por un grupo, ok. Entonces, no llegó el maestro. No llegué a tres, no llegué. No alcancé a llegar <risa> porque ya eran las diez. Ajá. Okay. Pero eh, no hay ningún problema. Eh, mañana vamos a seguir. Mañana vamos a seguir. Pero si quiere ahorita la podemos ver, la suya. <risa> no, thank you. Es con Giovanni y ella se desconectó. Oh, ok. Ok, okay. no problem. Good night, teacher. Thank okay. you. Have a good night. Bye bye. My pleasure. Bye.